big tent. Look at this house. This is the Isaiah Hubs house. It was built circa 1798. And this is the old Abington Church, a graveyard, the oldest Presbyterian church in Montgomery County. This church was founded in 1714. And uh, there's a graveyard over there. We're going to be going over today. We're just doing a little walk around this church. Um, you know what I saw? Look at these lights. What do you think? How old do you think these lights are? Probably gas lamps, right? Probably old gas lamps that... Mm -hmm. So, uh, I used to work around here, and uh, I always drove past this old cemetery, and I always I always looked at it, but that was before I was the Philly captain, so I really didn't give a shit. Like, I don't... I didn't really start caring about history until I started doing this YouTube channel. And uh, so I said, oh, I'm going to be in this area. Let's drive past that old cemetery. By the way, Revolutionary War site. Uh, this church, I believe, was built... The church was founded in 1714, and they had like a small log cabin. That's what they're... And then I think this church came up in 1793... And if I'm wrong, I'm sure we'll hear about it in the comments. And please let me know. I was looking for a cornerstone. I couldn't find any. But uh, the cool thing about this church, John Watermaker used to go here. And the bell in that steeple was donated by John Watermaker. And because John Watermaker was such a big hot shot, uh, President... Benjamin Harrison came here for service in 1890-something or not. I think 93. Don't go beat... Don't write book reports off of what I say. Just... Go, oh, that could be right. <laughs> there it is. They got church two times a day. 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Oof. And then... And then they have... This old mile marker here, it's at 8 miles to RS and 10 miles to Philadelphia. That's what the P stands for. What does the RS, see, 8 miles to RS. What is 8 miles to RS? Oh, I don't know. Let me know. What's RS in the mile marker? So anyway, what this would do is you would take this and you would, you would be on your, yeah, you come here for church. And then you got your horse and carriage, or just your horse, and you go, ah, oh, shit, I gotta go 10 miles. But I don't know if they curse, but they would go, ah, oh, 10 miles to this way. So, uh, and this is the old timey head, uh, graveyard. We're gonna go walking around. I don't think there's anybody, there's a, like, there's no founding fathers, but there is a uh, Revolutionary War Heroes, Robert Barnes. Uh, yeah, no names I recognize, but they're still, you know, they because of them, we're here. Cool thing about this, look, just go in. No problem. And um, I know I saw a thing that all the pastors are sort of buried near one another. This is the first pastor. The founding and first pastor, 1764, he was buried. Um, and then here's another fella, 1810, he was the second, no, the third. But yeah, so all the pastors have little markers on them. This is 1756. nice here okay here we go 1864 so that's a like I said, most headstones 
if they're falling apart like this or pre-1850 if you see this headstone this is 1858 I guess they realized oh shit these headstones don't last And you can see it. The headstones are uh, generational. The further back you go, the newer the headstones look. Uh, Revolutionary War skirmishes happened in here. Uh, during the Civil War. This church uh, almost didn't make it financially through the Civil War. Because uh, people who lived up here sympathize with the South. And some sympathize with the north. It's kind of. That building there is an old YMCA. Uh, is that Flemish Bond? No. Uh, no. Mm, sort of. There we go. This is my father, my wife, boy. Huh. Yeah, I was thinking about Dog the Bounty Hunter because I think about him a lot. You know Beth Chapman? You remember Beth, beautiful Beth? Here we go. Look at this. There's a family plot. Um. Mm. You know, some cemeteries, or I think this would be considered a graveyard. Graveyards are on the yard of a church, I think. Does somebody, tell me the difference in the in the cemetery is a standalone thing. Although the great, but I bet you back in the day this was all connected. Here we go. Who's this? Elizabeth, the first burial. Oh, this is the first burial, seventeen twenty eight. 1819, wow, 300 years ago. Uh, she died at a 33 years old. Um, wow. Somebody, one of the pastors in here wrote a book and it was printed by Benjamin Franklin. Pretty neat. Um, oh, here's this. See, they got little silver plates on some of these headstones so we're going to just take a peek Miss Susan B. Smith founder of the oldest children's missionary society in the United States it was called the Susan B. Smith Mission Band well look at that oh man uh oh Susan B. Smith her uh Hmm. All the good work she did. And uh, I saw an article. I think the Philadelphia Inquirer wrote an article about this church's 300th anniversary. And that's pretty much where I'm going with all my uh, information. But uh, it was said that it, I'm up. If you go, well, I guess you can see. This is kind of on a hill. Jacobtown Road. I think that's Jacobtown Road. It goes down. So it was said that people could see the steeple of this church from miles away. How about John Warnermaker, though? That's pretty cool. The bell didn't ring. I was here for... I waited around to see if the bell rang. And I didn't even get the camera out to record. I just... Uh, I just sat here and stared at it. Think, not realizing if it did ring, I would have to wait another hour. Kind of. Uh-oh, raindrop. We got... One more little headstone I'm going to check out. This looks pretty cool. Tamaz. Hmm. Tamaz. Ta Tamzanan. Oh, I don't know. A lot of goofy names. You need to see that sometimes goofy names come back. Let's bring back Herman, people. I think the Munsters ruined that. 
Adolf, that's never coming back. 1930, everybody was named Adolf. Some guy, some guy from Germany ruined that for people. Oh, we got a little thing here. Abington Presbyterian Church. Here we go, Memorial Garden. Oh, what do you think? Uh-oh, maybe cremations? I don't know. I'm John. My name's John. And uh, I think that's been around since the Bible. So uh, I don't think my name's going anywhere. Although it's it's the most vanilla name you could have. But I, I think I would rather have a vanilla name. That's Elizabeth Harvey. That's our mother. Uh, Elizabeth Harvey. I wonder where John Watermaker's buried, if he's not buried here. You know what? I think he's buried at Holy Redeemer. I could be wrong. I got, I'm going to be doing a detailed cemetery video there. All right, well, that's it. I just want you guys to check this out. And you know what? May I suggest if you see something old, stop. Here we go. Reverend, this is the longest serving pastor, 47 years. Um... And I think this is the guy, Macaulay Jones. Oh, 1650. Oh, he was the first minister. 1651 he was born. Wow. Seventeen. Wow, he's, he's going to be 400 years old. Let me see his headstone. Well, he's not 400. He, if it was his birthday. I don't know. All right, well, that's it. That's that's my little walk around this cemetery. And like I said, if you ever see something old, I suggest that you stop and look at it because sometimes it's not going to be there, especially in the city of Philadelphia. This is Abington, so I don't know how this works. But I know in the city of Philadelphia, history isn't always preserved. And... Uh, Oh, the, all right, well, man, it's, it's Susquehanna, and uh, there he is, the first minister. Susquehanna, oh, it, it's right here. An old York Road, Susquehanna, an old York Road, and that church, 17, uh, that building right there, 1700s, and hey, check out this bank. pretty cool. Oh, wait. I think I see Flemish Bond, but look at the uh, railroads, the boats. Oh, I hate that they have that piece of wood blocking what it was. You see that white piece of wood right there? There's an owl. Pretty cool looking building. Nice etchings on the... Alright, well make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Doodles!